In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called min stack. So we want to design a stack that supports push, pop, top, and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. So implement the min stack class. So basically, we have a couple methods here. So min stack basically initialize the stack object, and push method basically push items onto the stack. Pop pops the top element that we have on our stack, and the top which retrieves the top element that we have on our stack. But this get min method would retrieve the uh, retrieves the minimum element that we have in our stack so far, right? So in this case, you can see here we basically initialize this method, uh, this class, create an instance of this class, and then we push items in. We uh, pop a, a top item that we have on our stack off. And then we can also retrieve the top element as well as we can be able to um, get the minimum, right? So we want to do this all in constant time, right? So, so one way we can do this is we can use a stack data structure and uh, inside here. And basically when we push remove, we can use a stack to do that. But if we were to get the minimum element, then in this case, we have to iterate the entire stack to get a minimal element, right? So in this case, this will not give us a constant time complexity to do that. So what we can do instead is we can use a cache, right? So to store the minimum element that we have for each insertion and each removal, right? So basically, for example, if I have a cache like this, for the current position, right? When we have, let's say we want to insert those elements right here. So two, three, one, three, right? When we insert two onto the stack, we basically know that the minimum element that we have is gonna be two. So we put it here. And uh, then we insert three. So three, the minimum element that we have so far, in this case, is gonna be two. So we insert two onto the cache, right? Because the cache is that we, for this current position, right? For this current position, the minimum element that we have so far is either the top element that we have in our in our cache, right? Before we insert two, or is going to be this element right here that we're going to insert onto the stack. So in this case, it's two. Two is smaller, so we just add two onto the cache because in this case, um, we want to keep track of the minimum element, right? And let's say if I want to remove the top element that we have, right? In this case, the top element is three. So in this case, we remove it. Then we also have to remove it in our cache as well. So the, 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 the minimum element that we have so far in this case is gonna be two, right? So if I were to insert one, the minimum element that we have at this current position is gonna be one. If I were to insert three, then the minimum element that we have so far is gonna be one, right? We're gonna compare one with three, the top element that we have in our cache with element three. Is it? smaller if it's smaller then we're gonna get this element to be the top right if it's not then we're gonna add one onto the cache as the smallest element that we have so far so let's take a look at how we can do this in code so first we're gonna use a stack and we're also gonna use a cache stack a cache the result for each insertion that we have right or each removal we want we want to make sure we get we keep track of the top element, right? The minimal element that we have. And then for when we pushing element, first we're gonna add the val onto the stack. Okay. And then we check to see if the cache stack is empty, right? If it's empty, that means we can that means the smallest element that we have at this current position in this case is gonna be um Val, right? So let's stick to push instead of add. So then what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, so first we have to get the top element that we have. So in this case, the top, top element that we have is the minimum element that we have so far, right? So the minimum element is equal to cache.pop, right? We, yeah, we basically, uh, sorry, peak my bad. So we retrieve the top element we, that we have in our cache, and we check to see if min is actually smaller, uh, sorry, is actually bigger than val, right? If it's bigger than val, then we're gonna say cache.push 
we're going to push val as the smallest element that we have for the current position, right? Otherwise, if the min is, in this case, is, uh, let's say, is um, smaller than the val or smaller than or equal to, then we just say cache dot push min, right? So basically, that's how we add uh, elements onto this min stack in constant time. And now to pop elements, pretty simple. We just say, um, in this case, stack dot pop, right? So we pop the top element that we have of, of our stack and return it, right? And then in this case, uh, because we're returning void, so we don't have to return this element. And then another thing that we also have to do is we have to remove that element off the cache as well, because that cache is only track of the minimum element at that current position, right? So we uh, we remove both of them, okay? And for peak, it's the same thing. We basically just uh, remove, sorry, we just return the top element that we have on our stack. And for getting the minimum element, we just retrieve the top um, the, the, the top element that we have on our cache. So it's going to be cache.peak. And if we were to run the code and submit, and you can see we have our success. So this is basically how we solve this problem in a constant time complexity for all those uh, methods.